This is the area of view of Kibera, one of Nairobi's most populous slums. It is not the dumbness, the rusty roofs, the mud walled houses or a group of residents that catch the eye, but down the cliff is a stream of dark water that flows down through thousands of structures and disappears from the vicinity. It is an open sewer crossing several villages including Kisumundogo, Lindi, Siranga, Soweto, Makina, Kianda, Mashimoni and Laini Saba. The sewage finally ends up in Nairobi Dam some kilometers away. This is despite the fact that the dam was built for recreational purposes. But poor sewerage system and sanitation is not a problem of Kibera. Urban slums lack sewerage facilities according to the Water Services Regulatory Board and depend on informal service providers for sewage services. In Nairobi, poor drainage and sewerage services has been attributed to an increased population and an old sewerage system. While it is common for sewers to burst during rainy season, management of sewage, especially in urban areas, is a big problem. In Nairobi, for example, the government is working day and night to clean Nairobi River, which over the years has become highly polluted from indiscriminate dumping of industrial effluent as well as sewage. The latest impact report on water services in the country revealed that sewer sanitation coverage remained unchanged in 2018 at 16%. But poor sanitation cost the country at least 27 billion shillings every year, according to the Ministry of Water and Sanitation. This is especially due to treatment of waterborne diseases like cholera, typhoid and dysentery. Cholera is common in major urban areas in the country, especially after every rainy season. <laughs> Two months ago, Dorothy Sayo was among Umoja residents who became sick after consuming contaminated water. This was after sewage mixed with clean drinking water in Umoja estate of Nairobi. But sewage is not all that bad if it can be contained properly. So this is human waste after we have done carbonization. In Nakuru, sewage treatment has been commercialized. Fecal sludge is usually harvested in a decentralized sewage treatment plant and used to make briquettes for home and industrial purposes. This consequently keeps the environment clean, unlike before when sewage would be dumped anywhere. Uh, tunaona tuki kwa miaka mitano tunataka tu tuki produce kama tan 150 kwa kwa, kwa mwezi. Then baada hapo tuanze kutengeneza 250 cuz hiyo ndio full capacity ya hii plant. Sababu so, tunataka tuwe tume spread beyond na kuru. Na pia miaka tano tunataka tuone pia county zingine zimeanza kuiga mfano wetu wameanza hizi miradi ili ziweze kunufai ama kuwapea manufaa hizo county zingine. Pia tunataka uh, miaka tano ikifika tusiwe tunatumia guvu za umeme kukimbiza hii mitabu yetu. Tunataka sababu tuko na a lot of slides. Tunaweza tengeneza ile methane gas, tunaweza generate electricity, tuweze kuuza hata hiyo electricity kwa the national grid na pia ku, kuendesha hizi mitabu zetu. Mm -hmm. Vipi ambavyo tunaweza kutumia uh, maji ya sewage na vile ambavyo tunaweza kusaidia miji mikuu ambayo inapata idadi ya watu zaidi ya vile ambavyo tulikuwa tumepangilia. Hapa tumeona miradi miwili. 
mradi wa kwanza ni yule decentralized plant kuonyesha kuwa maji ya sewage inaweza kusafishwa kwa kutumia e, nusuweka na hakuna harufu ambayo inatoka pale ni safi mambo yote yanafanyika chini na maji kitoka upande ule mwingine kama imesafishwa hayo maji ni masafi na yanaweza kurudi kwa mtu kwa hivyo tumeona huu mradi e, kutengeneza hii mradi inachukua kama miezi mitatu sio kama vile tunaweza kufanya ile siwe ya kawaida ya kuweka pipes na kupeleka katika zile ponds kubwa hiyo miradi inachukua miaka miwili miaka mitatu lakini huu mradi unachukua kama miezi mitatu na tunapata suluhu kwa hivyo tukiwa na hizi plants ndogo ndogo katika hizi miji ambazo ziko na watu wengi tunaweza suluhisha mambo ya sewage iwache kwenda kwa mito iingie i mean eh, isafishwe maji isafishwe ndio maji yakirudi katika mto hayo maji yako masafi vile vile tumeweza kuona eh, maji ya sewage sio maji ya kutupwa kwa hivyo tunataka kuhimiza ili wenzetu wengine katika county governments zingine weze kuiga huu mfano na wao pia katika hizi kaunti zingine tukiwa na kaunti 47 zote zikiwa na miradi kama hii nafikiri tunaweza kuokoa miti mingi sana Uh, it's a new thing. There are certain parts in there that are in the inner. So, it will take almost three hours to consume. The normal charcoal for five minutes is consumed. So, this one, you, when you are ready, you don't have to keep on the moving the watch to add more charcoal. One simple part is enough. It will be. So, that's the only difference and disadvantage of the brigades. Only that one. You cannot use it the following day. And that's why we usually train people, we just go.